Day to day, I am living in the visible world, an undeniably vibrant one. At times, Tokyo can look to me like the contents of an emptied out jewelry box, completely different from the mountains in Vermont where I grew up. I've come to find comfort within this glittering box, but I feel deep within me that there is something, something important just outside of it. I want to step outside and discover what that is. I've reached the outer edges of Tokyo. It's hard to believe I was just in a human world. There's something so incredibly mystical about the mountains of Japan, as if you've stumbled into the home of ancient spirits. In Japan, they call the meeting point of the human and spirit realm, Kekkai. Between them is a path where the spirits are said to wander. It is here where we have the best chance of encountering them. Even so, you will not see the spirits directly. They live through the natural world, in the form of a giant tree, a waterfall, a rock, even the mountain itself. Past the Shinto Shrine was a trail leading into this natural world. Each leaf, stone, and movement of the stream unfolded miraculously in front of me, as if inviting me deeper and deeper into the forest. At the end of the trail, I found a sacred waterfall and a Buddhist deity coexisting together all this time. This is not Kyoto. I reached a Zen temple in Hinohala village, Tokyo. In this world, less is more. Listen, can you hear the breath of nature? Can you feel its beat? Are my footsteps becoming one with the sounds all around me? Before coming here, I read a compilation of Japanese poetry collected in the 10th century. I wanted to experience for myself what I had found on one of those pages. It said, Nothing meets the eye to demonstrate beyond doubt that autumn has come. Yet suddenly, we are struck by just the sound of the wind. Like the wind, there is something invisible that moves everything around me. And here I am, a witness to it all. <laughs> 